We were talking about elasticity, and now what I want to talk about is the midpoint formula. The midpoint formula allows us to calculate the average elasticity. The reason we might want to use this is recall that when we considered a price increase, we calculated the elasticity. In the case of ice cream, it was uh, 1.2. And when we calculated a price decrease going from $4 down to $3, we calculated the, the elasticity and it was actually a different number. And this is uh, because of the calculations that we were using, the uh, percentage change calculations. What we'd like to do is come up with a formula that would give us the average elasticity through that range. We call that the midpoint formula. Now, this formula is uh, described as the change in Q divided by the average Q divided by the change in P over the average P or we could also refer to it as the delta Q over Q bar, a little bar above the Q means it's the average quantity or the average Q, divided by the delta P over P bar. So if we wanted to say it real fast, we could simply say delta Q over Q bar divided by delta P over P bar. Understand what that means. Now, <clears throat> there's a little trick to dividing uh, fractions, if you remember. Uh, we can flip the denominator and multiply. So the denominator in this case is delta P over P bar. If we wanted to just uh, move that over this way, and then we would flip it and multiply it. That gives us the formula for the midpoint formula. Now let's go back to our ice cream example and see how this would work. Uh, there's our demand curve, and there are the two prices and the two quantities. There's our formula, and let's just see if we can calculate the values. What's the change in Q? Well, uh, Q changed from 3 to 5 or 5 to 3, so the change was 2 units. The average Q was 4. We can either visually look at the chart and calculate that, or we can actually add 3 plus 4 is 8 divided by 2. That would also give us 4 as the average Q. So we have 2 divided by 4 for our first uh, value in the equation. And then uh, P bar divided by delta P, the average price would be 350. 3 plus 4 divided by 2 would be 350. And the change in P was just a dollar. So we've got the values now we can plug into this formula. 2 over 4 times 3.5 over 1. We multiply that through and we get a 7 divided by 4 or in this case, we would have a 1.75. That, once again, would be the average elasticity through that range. That's the midpoint formula. Yeah, um, you might want to practice that one. Um, you'll probably see that again.